Well, Nelson, your movie today is The Deadly Mantis. And by the way, what is a thermonuclear device anyway? The world is closed due to massive amounts of snow. <laughs> hey, shh, listen. There's a kind of hush all over the world. And next we'll see Buckminster Fuller's Dymaxion version. The map you're about to see is true. When in the universe, be sure to visit the beautiful United States. Oh, Dot, I've always wanted to go there. Somebody dropped a joint on the map. Oh, don't soak your map in nitroglycerin. It's a magma flow of savings at Menards! <laughs> Please call the gas company before digging. The Earth's pores are opening like mad. Yeah, the other planets refer to the Earth as old pizza face. For every action, there is a Jackson. We take you now to a cold water flat in Brooklyn where another volcano is erupting. <laughs> You're looking live at Sold Out Greenland. Oh, so we're not going to Greenland then, apparently. apparently the director was a former cartographer. <laughs> because of volcanic activity, a creature named Santa Claus crawled out of the ice. They really had no idea what this movie was about, did they? Oh, well, finally. All right. Starring Vanilla Ice, Ice Cube, Vivi Snow, Ice D, Hank Snow. <laughs> And our super white cast. For whiter whites, use Universal Movies. Leon, Leon? He had the laziest, most unimaginative parent in the world. You know, behind the credits, you can see the Ant of Turin. <laughs> Over both oceans, there are radar-equipped thicket planes. Deep-sea mosques. In both oceans, man-made radar island. And several hundred miles beyond them are the offshore thicket. And Wilson Pickett. Another radar fence, the Pine Tree Radar Fence. The natural radar of pine trees protects our northern borders. Yeah. To land a mountain of supplies, machines, tractors, and men upon the ice. Yes, in the glorious days before environmental impact statement. <sighs> Building a better snowless Arctic. Work continues day and night around the clock, seven days a week. The Corn Palace is built! Long last, the ships are gone. The job is finished. And the job was what again? After all this work, how could we ever really disarm, you know? You know, she didn't want to have so many little planes, but her husband was a DC-10 who just couldn't keep his wings off her. The plane drops its eggs on the runway to be fertilized by male planes. Actors are shipped in from the mainland. Colonel Parkman? Who said that? Glad to have you with us. Welcome to Ventriloquist Island. <laughs> Climbing without oxygen, Maria ascended to 20,000 feet. Should he be up there on his respirator? It's, <laughs> it's a confetti storm. So, uh, you think it's going to snow today? I've got Lieutenant Kane, sir. Hmm? Oh, let me talk to that little bitch. Oh, we just can't have nice radar. The aftermath of the great snowball wars of 1955. Ice balls are now outlawed by the Geneva Convention. It was the Comanches, sir. Rock and roll, just as I suspected. Plane that hit it. <laughs> ah, don't say plane. I beat your pants. I'm not sure how. Uh-oh, giant cross-country skiers. Django Reinhardt was here. That's a nice snow sculpture, Steve, but what about the dead guys? <laughs> Weather 4 made contact with them at 0813. Everything was Jake. Did you check to see if I was Gig Young? I'm picking up something, Colonel, but it doesn't make sense. This is simply not Jake. I never saw a blip like that before. It's there, then it's gone. I think that's the definition of a blip. Yeah. Sound the red alert. Skillet scramble horn. <laughs> Codependent Air Force planes. <laughs> Gophers! Big ones! Complicated orthodontia. Jeez. I can't see a thing! And the slower, fatter plane tries to catch up. <laughs> I'm so baked right now. <laughs> Dude, you gotta hear this rush tape. A big kid put a quarter in the airplane. <laughs> We're over the wreckage of the C-47. Hi! Hey. Colonel! Yellow snow, sir. Can I eat it? Frosty the snowman's partially melted body was found at the site, a victim of a pistol whipping. Herbie the misfit elf is wanted for questioning. You've got to put an end to freebasing on our planes. <laughs> In their last futile attempt to save themselves, they taped their plastic salad balls to the roof of the plane. Gentlemen, this looks delicious. Well, where do we go from here? 
We'll have to let Conan worry about that. Conan? Conan? This is Conan. And you are? The Continental Air Defense Command. These are hot phones. Uh, uh. Using them, it takes only 15 seconds to talk to Alaska. A dime a minute. 10 seconds to alert Newfoundland. Not that you'd want to. <laughs> Five seconds to contact you. Me? During these two days of concentrated efforts, you've come to some conclusion about this. <laughs> Filmed in bald spot vision. Professor Gunther, I believe you're in charge. All of us are agreed to accept one thing. Angela Lansbury's hot. <laughs> Seem to know more about what it isn't than what it is. That is correct, sir. There. That'll be half a billion dollars. Get back in your little boat, Grandpa. <laughs> You're not suggesting that it comes from some creature at present unknown. It's a possibility we suggest you investigate, sir. No! Well, it's the random bones display. I'm going to show everybody my binky portraitures. What have you got there? You cat. My kids in my junior science group made it. You want to count them? Well, listen. Showing the progression of prehistoric creatures from the jellyfish to the dinosaur to primitive man. It's a very simple three-step evolution. Sounds all right. Well, it isn't every day the Pentagon calls you. It is so. Very nosy. They found an old bone up at the North Pole. This is Bert Lahr. The Pentagon wants to know. Well, it doesn't look like bone. More like gristle or cartilage. It's your thumb, you dork. A structure as large as this would have to serve a very specialized purpose in order to be cartilaginous. If it were bone, we could start from that. It says made in Taiwan here. But... It does tell me, however, is that it can't be from an animal. As a matter of fact, the reptile structure is bony. I'm bony. Animal. Even birds have bony skeletons. It allows them freedom of movement. Who are you men, and where's my soup? And then they have folds where the muscles are attached. Who's going to drive me home? Well, that's where the process of elimination seems to lead us. Please don't say elimination. Now that we suspect this hook may have come from an insect, would you test the fluid for me and let me know what you get? No. Glad to. New petitions against tax. Oh don't you play games with me, Ned Jackson. Not even our strip risk? I'm sorry. Why, it's as plain as the nose on your face. The budget, Rosalind Look. Russell. And inside this amber is at least 90 million years old. And so it's turned into a beetle. Where? Where? What flesh-eating insect of normal size has such a hook? A worm? Yes, you're making a lot of assumptions. Chicken. Every paleontologist does. Dumb beetle. You start with a jawbone, a couple of teeth, you figure whether they come from a flesh or a grass eater, and you go from there. Mrs. Beatrice Torgerson of Maple Plain has spurs like that. The diet consists mostly. <laughs> the female is larger than the male and invariably destroys her mate when he's fulfilled his function in life. Oh, sorry. This is about Ukrainians. <laughs> the blubber shipment's in. It's the mighty Quinn. Is there a sale on bowl haircuts? It's kind of bad timing. They're just about to toss Grandma out onto the tundra. Inuit Bay Watch. If everybody had a kayak. Across the Bering Straits. Trading in a Chevy for a kayak, 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 kayak. Found copies of Varmint Master magazine, a couple of Toblerone bars. <laughs> Joel Gray in drag. All right. Almost ready? She's like a manly Eve Arden. Mm -hmm. think? <laughs> He's with a woman. With breasts and everything. Female woman. Come in, this girly, womanly, female, feminine dame thing. Well, where's the woman? Oh, ooh, I, mean, I think this guy is familiar with dishonorable discharge. <laughs> don't ask, don't tell, but have a darn good time. Vogue all that you can, Vogue. Oh, little town of Bethlehem. <laughs> it's a peeping man. Actually, there are about 450 species up. Is Dave there? Someone saw a deer in the parking lot. <laughs> I'd like to point out that I mate and then I kill. Huh? Mate. After a simple installation, you can enjoy five channels of porn. Coffee, Colonel? Head injury, Corporal? Nine hours, not a whisper. I've been busy, Phil. The deer fly does 600 an yeah, hour. Yeah, and a rabbit can go Mach 5. It's almost <laughs> as fast as a jet. They have a natural instinct to fly below radar. <laughs> Mantis wows crowds in Portland. Oh, I'd fear Mantis mounting, too. But contrary to rumor and certain newspaper headlines... And not gay. Ladies and gentlemen, lick me. Here is a boxing nun puppet. The scale. The man has decided that the procedure will be the same as though an enemy aircraft had been spotted. Scream like hell and die. Take no chances. Quick, poopy suits on. Don't you move. Hail Ming. Well, I suppose. Ah! Sky King. Sky King. Sky King. And Sky King. Brought to you by Nabisco. Yep. Non stop, high speed, aggressive, non action. <sighs> Mantis slowly pulls out and follows them. <laughs> ah, something we're supposed to be able to see. 
Uh, we interrupt this program to bring you a news flash. A train that, a man? reported north oh. of Laurel, Maryland on U.S. Highway 1. Present tongue. <laughs> What's he doing Ooh. with his jaw? That's that's <laughs> chilling. Yuck. Oh my god! We better get going. But I got a mantis in my pantis. So did you like meeting my privates? I mean, the guys back at the base. <laughs> and this just in: the colonel's advances were rebuffed once again. Sweaty hands slapped away. Rests escaped unharmed. Do you go to Venezuela? Now the mantis has joined the Birmingham bus boycott. The president deploys a box of men. <laughs> Calling Mantis Man. Calling Mantis Man. Mr. Mantis goes to washing death. Where's the outrage? <laughs> Bus drivers in love. Jeez, could you put a warning light on this thing? Oh, I do not want to see this. Oh. He's segmented for an easy fee. Rock. 369 Rock. <laughs> rock. Highway to the cheap stock footage. Airborne with four chickens heading 035. What? Over. The final desperate hours of the Dole campaign. Speed 250. That's me, right there. Altitude <laughs> 2000. Dixie 35 Bravo. I wish Contact I was in lost. Dixie 35 Bravo. At 25. I drew a North duck. Northeast. Range 110. Is this really all I can be? Why don't they just open Earth's door and let it out? Identify markings properly. Make sure it's not a civilian passenger, Manus. Over. Prepare to deploy giant facial tissue and smush the enemy. Over. Maybe he's wearing a bustle. <laughs> Flame out on Hinder 1. This is Beagle 1 7. Car far. Give me pigeons to home plate. No, we really need you to stop talking funny and kill that big bug. Over. Meanwhile, the city hoses down Pavarotti's sheets. <laughs> These sheets were trying to use our drinking fountain, sir. That's all the smoke we need. Shut it off. Wait, you needed smoke? Just keep pumping. Thank you, sir. You keep pumping, too. Hey, and maybe this guy would volunteer to smear himself with peanut hey, butter and stand on the it's Chrysler the building. <laughs> it ain't out here, Mac. Oh, they're going to tow the mantis. Well, he's deadly, but he's parked in the yellow zone. <laughs> Gentlemen, let's do some beekeeping. <laughs> all right, men. So watch for my signal before you throw them. Hello? <laughs> all right, men. Check masks. Your own masks. Let's go. I'm not wearing a thing under this, sir. <laughs> oh, thank God for the total body condom, soldier. Oh, you have the right to an entomologist. If you're found guilty, you'll be pinned to a giant piece of cardboard. Kelsey, throw us the keys. What? Well, uh, oh. This guy's insurance only covers destruction by giant arachnids. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bug hunt, man. A bug hunt. <laughs> it is. It is. He's hired a 50-foot Alan Dershowitz to defend him. The Fruit Loop Brigade. <laughs> What's the meat thermometer on my head say? <laughs> uh, Mantis isn't here. He just left. Thanks. Typical human. Bring a gun to a car fight. Quick, hose down another tarp. <laughs> For some reason, this brings the Serbs into the war. Just glad to know you guys are backing me up. I, I think we should... Hey! <laughs> Hi, Deadly Mantis. Hi. Move towards the butt zapper, Mantis. I hear those gentle voices calling Big Green Bug. Tell the Eskimos that I deeply respect their culture, but also very delicious. There's your cover for next month's magazine, Marge. Oh, I don't know. We got good pictures of the volunteer appreciation luncheon. This is as nude as she ever gets. Well, go on. Take your pictures. Yeah, the Taliban militia are shocked by our conservatism. Would you mind telling me what's so funny, Colonel? Who, me? Oh, nothing at all. <laughs> Can I help you with your camera? No, thanks. <laughs> like she's a real photographer. She's just a woman. <laughs> no, take the picture, really, woman. <laughs> we have received top clearance to play on him. He's flipping us off! My brownie camera! Just wanted to cop the feel. Ugh. He felt the warmth of her body through the 13 layers of heavy cloth clothing. Well, I couldn't make it here. Can't make it anywhere, I guess. What the heck was Mrs. Farley? Was that the Mantis? Ah, General Kingsley Pissy Pants Mountain Mountain, <laughs> played by Donald the Puss Randolph. And! Keep watching the ground! And! And! and, and, and. Oh, she's like a butterfly flying across the lily pond. Remember the tension and breathtaking action of that map? Wow. Yeah. 